Hi everyone, today I'm going to be decluttering my lip product collection. So I'm going to be going through all my lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms, lip crayons, lip liners, all that kind of stuff, liquid lipsticks as well. And I'm going to be decluttering them. I have been doing these with all my other makeup products and they have been going really well. So if you want to see me declutter all my lip products, then obviously keep on watching. I am using the same setup as my previous decluttering videos where I have four boxes lined up around here. And these are going to be boxes to keep these will be boxes to give away and I have this separate box here which I'm just gonna put things to bin I'm gonna start with the lipsticks and this is my lipstick drawer I have acrylic storage and that's what I keep all my lip products in I do also have two of these acrylic holders with lipsticks in as well which I will keep to one side for now um, and go through once I've gone through the drawer. First of all I'm going to get rid of these three lipsticks because I really don't like this formula. These are the MUA matte lipsticks and I have three colours. I have Peachy Keen, I have Fawn Fancy which is this one and I have Wild Berry which is this one and I just really don't like these. The formula is just rubbish to be honest like it's so drying and the pigmentation is rubbish and they're only a pound each but they're just to be honest not even worth the pound and they're not even worth giving away so I'm just going to put these straight in the bin. I have some of the NYX matte lipsticks. I have four minis and one full size. I have Shocking Pink which I'm going to pass on. I have Indie Flick which I cannot wait to wear. This is going to be so nice in summer. I have Disorderly. Now this is one of the full size ones and even though I don't really wear this colour like all the time it's a really beautiful colour and I really really like it and it's really different to anything else I've got so I am going to keep that. I have this one which is called Eden which I'm going to pass on just because I have so many red lipsticks that I do not need this one as well. Finally I have this colour which is called Up the Base which I'm also going to keep because it's quite an interesting colour and... I don't really have anything quite like this, I don't think, so I'm going to keep that. I have this lipstick from CYO. This is called Couplet, which I'm definitely going to keep because I really like this. It's one of their ombre lipsticks. I have four of the Burt's Bees lipsticks. I'm going to go through these now. First of all, I have Sunset Cruise, which I'm going to keep because I really, really like this colour. I have this colour, which is called Lily Lake, which I'm going to pass on just because I do not wear this. I also have this colour, which is called Tulip Tide which I'm also going to pass on just because, again, I do not wear this. But finally, I have this colour, which is Nile Nude, and I'm not too sure about this one, so I'm going to put this to one side and try it out and have a little comparison of it with some of the lipsticks that I own. So I'm going to put this in this box for now, and this could be my, like, kind of trying out box. I have three of the Miss Sporty My BFF lipsticks. I have the colours My Adorable Nude, which I'm going to pass on. This one, which is called my nice plum which i'm also going to pass on and uh, this one which is called my cute coral which i'm also going to pass on just because i don't wear these and i just feel like i don't need them so i have this lipstick from lola makeup in the shade spiced wine and i really like this so i will be keeping that i have some of the mua kind of regular line of lipstick first of all i have bear which looks like this i cannot see me wearing this to be honest so i'm gonna pass that on i have shade 11 which is a really nice color but again i can't really see me wearing this anytime soon so i'm gonna pass that on coral flush which is a really pretty color so i think i'm gonna hold on to this this shade i used to love it's called shade three i think i might hold on to this as um i don't actually own like a really bright pink like this so i might hold on to that for now and then finally I have this one which is called Nectar and as you can see the packaging on this is actually broken so I'm just going to bin this now because I feel like no one's really going to want it like that. So I have three mini NYX butter lipsticks. These are in the colours Seashell which I'm going to pass on. Just Root Beer Float which I am going to hold on to because I do quite like it. This one which is called Ripe Berry and I'm not too sure about this one so I'm going to put this in that pile. I have this lipstick which is from a brand called Oiza. I don't really know how to pronounce this this um but this is in the color awa and it's a really pale matte nude but it is quite nice so i'm gonna hold on to that i have four of the rimmel kate moss lipsticks i have the shade 05 which i'm gonna pass on just because i do not wear this 08 which i'm also gonna pass on 30 which again i'm also gonna pass on and finally this one which is called 01 and this was a limited edition Red Nose Day one. I'm also going to pass that one on as well, just because I do not wear it. I have this mini Lancome lipstick. It's one of their Les Absolute Rouges in 06, which I'm going to bin because this is so old now. I have a few different lipsticks from Max Factor. So first of all, 
I have one of the Marilyn Reds collection. This is called Sunset Red and I'm going to put this in the comparison pile to come back to later on. I then have Rosewood from their just like regular line of lipsticks and I'm going to pass this on. This one which is called Pink Brandy which I'm also going to pass on. And then I have one of the Max Factor matte lipsticks in the shade 35 Love and I'm also going to put this in the comparison pile because I need to sort through my reds um, all together so I'm gonna have to gather up all my red lipsticks and put them all together and sort through them so I've just noticed I've also got this Max Factor lipstick which is called Stardust Pink and I'm also gonna get rid of this because I do not wear that I have three lipsticks from Topshop I have Hazard which is this one which I'm gonna put in the comparison pile the Damned which I am gonna keep because it is a really nice purple color Brighton Rock and I have no idea why I bought this lipstick because I do not wear these kind of colors and I'm never going to wear that so that can be passed on to I have this lipstick from Benefit which is called Tutti Cutie and I'm going to pass this on just because I don't wear it. I have three of the Revlon Super Lustrous lipstick, Pink in the Afternoon which I'm going to pass on. I have this one which is like a limited edition one called Love is On which I'm also going to pass on. This one which is called Really Red which is a really beautiful matte red colour and I am going to keep this because it's so nice. I have three lipsticks from number seven. I first of all have one of their moisture drenched lipsticks. This is in the colour Caramel Silk and I completely forgot I have this. It's actually a really nice colour so I'm going to keep that. And I have two of their Stay Perfect lipsticks. I have this one which I absolutely love. It's called Gay Geranium and it's just such a nice colour I really like this in summer especially and yeah it's perfect so I'll definitely be keeping that and then I have this colour which is called classic rose and I used to absolutely love this so I think I might keep this for now just for kind of old time's sake I have three of the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Suede lipsticks I don't know if they sell these anymore I have Runway which I'm going to keep because it's kind of like a metallic nudie colour which I really quite like I will give away this one which is called stylish just because I don't wear these kind of pinky colours it's called Bow chic because it's, again it's a really nice metallic red and I really have nothing else like this so I'm going to keep that. I have a few lipsticks from Seventeen. I have Just a Fling which is one of their Stay Pout lipsticks which I'm going to keep because I do quite like that and then I have two of their Mega Matte lipsticks. I have Ryoja Your World which is this colour and I'm, I think I'm going to keep that actually because it's quite a nice dark berry kind of red which I really like. So I have this one which is called looking buff which I think I'm going to pass on just because I don't really wear these kind of colours. And then I have a couple of mini lipsticks. I have a mini Burberry Kisses lipstick in the colour Military Red. How cute is this little mini lipstick? I'm definitely going to keep this just because of how cute and small it is. And then I have two of the Clinique Pop lipsticks. I have Cherry Pop which looks like this and I am going to pass this on just because I don't wear this. Nude Pop which I really like and unfortunately my brother did smush this into the lid but I am going to keep it anyway because it's a really nice colour. As you can see I have a whole massive selection of natural collection lipsticks. Rather than trying to pick these all up I'm going to just go through them one by one. So I have Heather. Now I don't really wear this very often but it is a really cool kind of grungy purpley browny kind of shimmery color and I do quite like it because it is a bit different so I am going to keep that fig leaf and I'm just going to bin this because it's really broken coral shimmer which is this one which is quite pretty but I am going to pass this on just because I have a lot of similar colors this biscuit which I really love it's a really really nice color so I will keep that or caramel which I really like as well so I will keep that one raspberry just because I don't wear these kind of colors anymore so that can go sorbet which I used to love but I just don't know if I can really see me wearing this anymore so I'm gonna pass that one on. I have a backup of biscuit which I've used on top of another lipstick but I'll just take that off and give this away just because I don't need a second one. Rosebud which I'm also going to pass on just because I'm not going to wear this anytime soon. Mallow and this was actually one of the first lipsticks I ever bought. Not this exact one but this um, lipstick and unfortunately I just don't wear this so I'm going to pass this on. I have two of these Max Factor like balm kind of things. I have one in Classic Cherry which I'm going to pass on. This one I am going to keep. It's called Posh Poppy and it's quite a nice orangey colour. I have this lipstick by Makeup by James London in Harley Street and I'm going to pass this on just because I don't really get enough use out of this. I have this lipstick which is probably one of the most beautiful lipsticks I've ever seen. It's by the brand MDM Flow and it's just called Vamp and it's so beautiful. I haven't actually used it yet but it's so so pretty 
and I will definitely be keeping that. This lipstick I'm going to pass on, it's the Rimmel Only One Lipstick in Your or Mine. I have this Miss Sporty lipstick which is in the colour Orange Topaz and I'm going to pass that on. I have this Essence lipstick in the shade Barely There which I'm also going to pass on. I have this Benacos lipstick in Soft Coral, which I am going to keep because I quite like this colour. So I have this L'Oreal Colour Riche lipstick in Creme de Rouge, which I'm going to get rid of just because I don't wear this anymore. I have this lipstick, which is from the collection Gothic Glam Collection, which is a range they did quite a few years ago now. And it's called Revenge. And I've got to keep this just because it's a really, really dark, vampy lipstick. And I don't really have anything else like that. So I have Rimmel Kate Moss 107, which I'm going to keep just for kind of old time's sake. I have this Bella Pierre lipstick in Envy, which I'm going to pass on. I have this Nars Sheer lipstick in the shade Fast Ride, which I'm going to pass on. I have the CYO lipstick in Keep Em Keen, which I'm going to put in this drawer because I'm not really sure about it. So finally for my lipstick, I have my two acrylic lipstick holders and these go on top of my acrylic storage. And I'm, again, I'm just going to go through these. So I'm going to start with my MAC lipsticks. Ruby Woo, which I'm going to keep. Rebel, which I'm also going to keep. Cream Cup or Creme Cup, which I'm actually going to pass on or try and sell because I just do not wear this colour. This was the first MAC lipstick I ever got, but it's just like a really pale pinky nude, which I just do not wear. So Hue, which is also quite pale, but it's more peachy, so you can kind of make it work, so I will be keeping that. I have Brave, which I really like. That's one of my favourite MAC lipsticks. Girl About Town, which I have no idea why I bought this. Um, I don't know when I thought I was going to start wearing this, but I'm going to pass that on. Syrup, which I'm going to keep because I do get some use out of that. Velvet Teddy, look how small and sad looking my Velvet Teddy is now. I can't believe how much I've used it, but yeah, I'm so happy um, that I've actually finally used a lipstick for once. And yeah, I will be keeping that. And then I also have a backup of it, which I will keep as well, which is um, just this this is the actual lipstick and then I have Whirl which I'm actually quite disappointed in to be honest I don't know what I was expecting from this but it just wasn't kind of how I pictured it so I think I might try and sell this because I'm not gonna wear it it's like a really dark matte brown which I just don't wear so now I'm gonna put it in the kind of like unsure of box but I think I'm probably gonna get rid of this later on I have two of the Maybelline matte lipsticks these are really nice I have clay crush which is this one which I really like so I'll be keeping that one and I also have divine wine which I also really like so I'll keep that one as well I have two Rimmel lipsticks these are limited edition ones this one is called Boho Nude. I'm going to pass this one on. I also have number 45 from the Nudes range, which can also go because I, again, just don't wear it. And now I'm going to go on to all of my L'Oreal Color Riche collection exclusive ones. So I have Eva's Red, which looks like this. I have Eva's Nude, which I kind of forget I have. And it's actually a really nice color, so I'm going to hold on to that. There is Blake's Pure Red, which actually looks like a really nice red color. So I'm going to put this in the unsure of box as well. And then I have Blake's Delicate Rose, which isn't very delicate, but um, yeah. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea why I bought this. This is probably one of the worst lipsticks for me, like colour wise, I've ever bought. I just don't know why I chose this, but yeah, that can definitely be passed on. I have Julianne's Red, which I am going to keep because it's quite a bright red, which I don't really have, so I'm going to hold on to that one. And then I have Julianne's Nude, which is more of a pinky kind of colour, which I think I'm going to pass on now just because I don't really use it. So next, I have my Neek lipsticks. I'm actually going to pass on all of these because I don't wear them at all. Go through the colours. So I have Friday on my mind. I have this one, which is called Come into my world. There's this one, which is called Sweet About me this one is called sunset this one which is called whole lot of rosy which looks like that they're not horrible lipsticks but i just don't use them and a lot of the colors i have already lots of so yeah i might as well give them to a bit nicer homes but now i'm going to go through all of my revlon color burst lip butters as you can see i have quite a few so i'm just going to go through all the colors pink lemonade which i'm going to pass on creme brulee which just isn't a very nice color full stop it's almost got like a yellowy undertone which just isn't very nice but yeah i'm going to pass that on Tutti Fruity, which I'm also going to pass on. Olipop, which I'm also going to pass on. Sweet Tart, which looks like that, which I'm also going to pass on. Sorbet, I'm also going to pass on. Wild Watermelon, which I'm going to pass on. This one I will be keeping because I really like this one. It's called Berry Smoothie. Juicy Papaya, which I am going to keep because I do quite like this colour. Peach Parfait, and I really like that one. I have three of the Revlon Ultra HD lipsticks. So this one is called Hydrangea. I have no idea why I bought this. Again, I'm going to pass that on. There's Rose, which is quite a nice colour, so I'm going to keep that one. This one, which is called Iris, which I'm also going to keep. I have this, which I think is my only Bobbi Brown makeup product that I own. It's one of the sheer lip colours in Blush 
swatched pink it's actually quite nice i sort of forget i have it um i will keep that and try and use that a bit more i have two of the joan collins lipsticks alexis which i'm gonna keep because i really like that color katrina which i'm gonna pass on just because i don't really wear this i then have my two charlotte tilbury lipsticks the colors of these are pillow talk which is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks i absolutely love this this is definitely staying and then i also have this one which is penelope pink which is also quite nice so i'm gonna keep that one as well finally in my lipstick collection i have my three chanel lipsticks so first of all i have two rouge coco lipsticks in mademoiselle and cessoir which looks like this is cessoir even though i don't really use either of these too much i'm going to keep them both just because I have spent a lot of money on them and yeah they're just kind of like more collector's items for me so yeah and then I also have one of the Rouge Allure lipsticks in the shade Rouge Temptation which looks like this. That is the lipstick part of this collection done and now I'm going to move on to all the other lip products I've got. So the next section which is my liquid lipstick. So this is my liquid lipstick drawer. I'm just going to get started. I'll start with these ones which are all of my Revlon ones. First of all I have Seduction from the matte range which I really like so I'm going to be keeping that. And then I have these two which are kind of similar. The top one is called Passion and the bottom one's called Romantic and I'm going to keep Passion and get rid of Romantic. I have three from the metallic range all of which I am going to keep for now even though I don't wear the blue or this kind of grey colour very much I'm going to keep them just because they are very sort of different and I just quite like having them so yeah I'm going to keep these for now the colours are Glitz which is the blue one Lustre which is this one this one which is called Glam and these are from the Metallics range next I have these which are my L'Oreal Colour Riche Le Extraordinaire liquid lipsticks these are like glossy um, high intensity gloss kind of things and I have quite a few of these as well so first of all I have this one which is called fuchsia drama and this I'm going to pass on because that is just not really my kind of colour so that can go and then I have this one called rose symphony which I'm also going to pass on because again it's just a bit too bright for me this one I will be keeping called Tangerine Sonate. I really, really like that one. I'm going to pass on this one, which is called Ruby Opera, which is quite a dark, glossy red. And I will be keeping this one, which is called Rouge Soprano, which is a bit more of a lighter, more orangey red. This one is called Rose Melody, which I'm going to keep. Motto Mauve, which looks like this, which I'm also going to keep. Nude Vibrato, which I'm also going to keep. First of all, I have one of the Magic Cosmetics Magic Pout Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the colour Bedazzled, and I'm going to pass this on because I just... Do not wear it. Then I have this colour from the brand Finks, which is called Ride, but spelt with a Y. And even though I really like this colour, I just don't wear it, so that can also be passed on. I have the Essence Vibrant Chocolate Paint in Bloody Mary, which I am going to keep because it's quite a nice colour. I have the Collection Velvet Kiss Moisturising Lip Cream in Blackberry. And this is such a cool colour. Like, I really, really like this colour. So I'm definitely going to keep that because I really have nothing else like that. Then I have this Revlon Colour Stay Over time kind of glossy liquid lip kind of thing in perennial plum which i'm going to pass on and i have some of the incredible cosmetics liquid lipstick i have endless ambition which i want to keep female af which i'm also keeping and then from the glazing ones i have find your light not mr right which i'm also keeping i have two more of these revlon color stay over time in non-stop cherry and this top one is called endless spice i am going to keep the top one because it is quite a nice color but i am going to pass on the bottom one just because i don't wear it and then finally for that section i have the nyx soft matte lip cream in copenhagen which i'm going to keep i have some of the incredible cosmetics matte my day liquid lipsticks these are the nude colors that i have so this one is my favorite this one's called hustle hard girl i will definitely be keeping that and then i have bolder and braver which i also really like so i'll be keeping that and finally i have this one which is called future is female which i'll also be keeping i have one of the maybelline vivid matte liquid lipsticks this one is in the shade nude thrill and i will be keeping this as i have two of the nyx liquid suede lipsticks these are in the shade sandstorm and soft spoken and i really like both of these so i'll also be keeping both of those i have the sleek matte me in birthday suit which i like so i'll be keeping that and then i have two of the nyx soft matte lip creams the one on the left is called can and the one on the right is called stockholm and i really like both of those so they're staying as well then i have this one from the brand absolute new york it's their velvet lippy 
lip cream in the shade terracotta which is actually really nice so i'll keep that i have another one of the finks liquid lipsticks this one is called dark alley and i really like this one so i'll be keeping that one as well i have this one from charlotte tilbury this is called showgirl and i quite like this one so i'll also be keeping that one and finally for that section i have one of the collection velvet kiss lip creams this one is in the shade caramel and i really like that so that'll be staying as well i have one of the smashbox always on liquid lipsticks this is called driver's seat and i really like this so i'm gonna keep that i have a full size hourglass opaque rouge liquid lipstick in the shade riviera which i really like so i'll be keeping that i have this essence xxxl long last lip gloss matte effect which is in the shade soft nude which i also really like so i'll be keeping that i have this as well from rimmel it's their provocalypse 16 hour liquid lipstick in the shade make your move which i do also really like as well so i'll be keeping that all of these little minis are actually from nyx i got them in the nyx advent calendar that they did last year so i have four of the nyx lip lingeries i want to keep them all to try out properly and give them a proper go the only one i'm a bit unsure about is this one which is called corset just because it's quite pale but i will keep that for now anyway the other colors i have are embellishment which is this one this one i absolutely love it's called push up which is so pretty and i finally have this one which is called exotic which i like as well and then i have three mini soft matte lip creams so this one's called sao paulo and i'm not really sure about this one so i'm gonna put this aside for now and come back to it at another point then I have this shade which is called Paris which isn't really my kind of colour and I haven't used it so I'm going to give that away. And finally I have this one which is Copenhagen which I already have in a full size so I don't need this one and again I will give this away. Then I have three of the liquid suede liquid lipsticks. These are in the shade Stone Fox which I'm going to keep. And then there's this one which is Vintage which I'm going to keep. Finally this one is Soft Spoken which I already own so I don't need that one as well so that one can go. I have a few few of the sleek mini matte me lip creams these are in the shades ryoja red which i will keep the birthday suit and i forgot i had this so i'm actually going to swap the full size for this mini one because i don't wear it all that much i have old hollywood and velvet slipper which i will also be keeping i have three of the bourgeois rouge edition matte velvet lipsticks this one is called hot pepper and i really like this so i'll be keeping that this one i also really like it's called cool brown which i really love this one i don't really wear it's called nudist but i feel like this is too used to give away so i am just going to keep it for now because if not it'll just go in the bin top and then i also have one of the bourgeois rouge edition aqualax which is like a glossy version this one's called on and i actually really like this so i'm gonna keep that as well i have two of these essence liquid lipsticks which are like glossy lipsticks i have this one which is called peach party which i just don't really wear to be honest so i'm gonna pass that on i have this one which is called beauty secret which i do really quite like so i'm gonna keep that one finally i have this which is from smashbox this is one of their always on metallic matte liquid lipsticks in xo vlada and i actually really like this so i'm gonna keep that as well that is everything for my liquid lipsticks as you can see i did keep the majority of them because as a whole i do really wear most of my liquid lipsticks and i don't need to get rid of them i'm happy with what i've kept and what i'm going to give away so that is the liquid lipstick part of my collection the next done. section which is my lip gloss drawer this is quite a small drawer so i'll go through this quite quickly first of all i have my lip liners here all of my lip liners i'm going to keep because i use them all i really like them all i will run through them quickly just so you can see what ones i have first of all i have five of the natural collection lip liner in alma I absolutely love this and it's literally about two pounds and it's so good so yeah I have five of them which is a bit excessive but I just really like them and don't ever want to run out so I'm going to keep all of these I have my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in pillow talk which is so beautiful I absolutely love it and it goes with my lipstick that I have of it now as well which is great and yeah I'll definitely be keeping that I then just have a random Primark one which doesn't have like a color or anything so yeah it's just completely random but it's a nice colour so I'll keep that one. I have this Essence Lip Liner which is called In The Nude which is really nice and this is only a pound as well so it's so affordable and it is really quite nice as well. I have this Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Spice 
which I really like as well. I have the number seven Precision Lips Pencil in Nude, which I really like, so that can stay. I then have a Bella Pierre lip liner in Cinnamon. Finally, I have this Benefit lip liner in the shade Nudist Colony, which I really like as well, so that can also stay. The first lip gloss I have is from Max Factor. It's one of their Honey Lacquers in the shade Honey Nude, and I really like this, so I'm gonna keep that. I have some of these L'Oreal Infallible lip glosses. They come in different categories, so this one is from the cream category, and this one is called Protest Queen, and I will keep this because I do quite like the colour. So the two bright coloured ones are from the Neon range, and I have more of Bora Bora, which is the pink one, and the more kind of ready one is called Miami Vice. And I'm going to get rid of Miami Vice because I've used that one quite a lot, but I'm going to pass on more of Bora Bora because that one isn't as used as the other one. And I have one of the Dazzle Glosses in Gloss Me I'm Gorgeous, which I'm actually going to hold on to. At first I was going to get rid of it, but I thought actually it might be a nice lip topper for like a berry purple lipstick it's like a shimmery purple. So I'm going to hold on to that for now. I have my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Gloss in Seduction, which I absolutely love, so I'll definitely be keeping that. I have two of the Rimmel All My Gloss Lip Glosses. This one is amazing. I absolutely love it. It's called Non Stop Glamour. And then the other one I have is this one, which is called Pearl. Uh, dot 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 glossy cat and I don't like this one as much as the other one but I still like it so I will be keeping that one as well. I have this lip gloss from Lord & Berry, it's one of their skin lip glosses in the shade 4875 and I really like this so I'll be keeping that. I have three Estee Lauder lip glosses, these are the pure colour ones and again these come in different categories. So these first two are from the shimmer category and the top one is called Pink Innocent and the bottom one is called Extravagant Pink. I am going to keep both of these because I do quite like them. And then this one is from the Shine range and it's called Brazen Berry, which I'm also going to keep. I have this from Essence, which is the Shine, Shine, Shine Wet Lip Lip Gloss in the shade Red Carpet Starlet. And I haven't actually tried this yet, so I'm going to keep this for now so I can try it out and see if I like it. I have the Natural Collection Juicy Lips Lip Gloss in the shade Caramel Shortcake. It's a really pretty colour, but for me it just isn't glossy enough. So I'm actually going to bin this because I think it's a bit old now as well. I then have this lip gloss from Tarte, which is one of their Lip Surgeons Liquid Lip Shine in the shade exquisite and I will probably keep this for now then I have two lip glosses from cargo the top one is in the shade Rio and the bottom one is in the shade Sahara I really like both of these so I'll definitely be keeping those I have this number seven high shine lip gloss in the shade smile which I think is pretty old now so I'm actually gonna get rid of this I have the tin feather lip oil tint in the shade ritzy which is really nice and I really like this so I'll definitely be holding on to that I have this number seven gloss shine this was a limited edition one so they don't sell this but it's just like a nice peachy colour so we'll keep that. I have the Makeup by James London Lip Gloss in the shade Battersea Bridge which I also really like so I'll be keeping that as well. So then I have two of the Maybelline Baby Lips Moisturising Lip Glosses. I really don't like these so I'm going to give both of these away because I have hardly used them. I think I've only actually swatched them. So the shades are Fab and Fuchsia which is the more darker pink and the other one is called Pink Pizzazz and yeah I'm going to give both of those away. I have a mini Balm Staniac which is all dried up now so that can go in the bin. I have a mini Benefit Benny Tint as well which I'm also going to put in the bin because I don't know how long I've had this and I don't use it so that can just go in the bin. I have the Essence XXL Nude Lip Gloss in the shade Soft Almond which I love and this can go in the Keep Pile. I have two mini NYX Intense Butter Glosses. I'm going to keep both of these because I really like them. This one's called Berry Strudel and it's a really really nice purple colour and then this one is called Tre Leche Tre Leche, I'm not too sure how to pronounce that name but it's really nice as well so I'm going to keep that and then I've got two mini normal butter glosses these are in the shades Raspberry Tart which I'm going to pass on because I can't really see me wearing this anytime soon and then this one I really like, it's called Creme Brulee and I really like that one so that can stay and then I have this one which is from Burt's Bees, it's one of their tinted lip oils in the shade Showering Sunset which I absolutely love and this can definitely stay I really really like this. I have a mini Benefit Ultra Plush lip gloss in the shade Fomance which I just don't wear so that can be passed on. I have a mini Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie lip gloss in the shade Spark Plug. This is really old now so I'm going to bin that. I have a mini number 7 High Shine lip gloss. I'm not too sure what the colour is of this but I really really like it so I'm going to keep that. I have a mini Tanya Burr lip gloss in the shade Daydream which I also really like so I'm going to keep that. And finally I have one of these Maybelline Color Elixir liquid lipsticks 
but it's more of like a gloss and this is in the shade nude illusion which i'm gonna keep so that was everything for that drawer as i said it's quite a small drawer so there's not really much to go through that is my lip gloss section so done next i have my lip crayon drawer first of all i have the cyo lipstick and liner in the shade big idea i actually really like this i used this for the first time the other day and it's really really nice so i'm gonna keep that i have two mini chubby lip creams from nyx this one is in the shade russian roulette i'm gonna pass that on because i just don't need any more red lip crayons and then this one's called she devil which i'm gonna keep because look how vampy that is it's so dark and i don't have like a really really vampy kind of dark color so i have the rodeo suede lips in the shade big apple and i don't really know what to think about this i don't really like the formula but i think i might put it to one side and kind of come back to it at a later point and see what i think about it properly i have quite a few of these revlon hd lipstick crayons i have pink cloud which i'm going to pass on because i just don't wear this i have this one which is called sand which i absolutely love and i wear this a lot so i'm going to keep that one i have this one which is called coral which i'm going to put to one side and come back to at another point this one is called vineyard and i really quite like this one so i'll be keeping that one as well i have these two which are are called Arabica which is unfortunately too dark for me so I'm gonna pass that one on and this one is called tropical which is pretty but I just don't wear these kind of colors so I'm gonna pass both of those on I have two of the Maybelline color drama intense velvet lip pencils I have the shades red essential and very much and I actually really like these they're great to use as lip liners as well and I really like them so I'll be keeping both of those I have two of the sleek power pout lip crayons and unfortunately these irritate my lips like they really hurt my lips so i'm gonna get rid of both of these and pass them on because they might be okay for someone else i have the shades berry burst which is this one and this one which is called notorious nude and they're both really nice i just can't really wear them because they hurt my lips so i have a nars velvet matte lip pencil in the shade sierra which i really like it's a really kind of unique color and i don't really have anything like this so i will be holding on to that and then i also have a mini satin lip pencil in the shade Rakujian, which i really like as well so i'm going to keep that as well i have a mini clinique chubby stick in the shade whopping watermelon which i just don't wear so i'm going to pass that on i have this nyx jumbo lip pencil in the shade deep red which is a really beautiful red color and i really like the look of this so i am going to keep that i have two products from lord and berry i have their 20100 maxi matte crayon lipstick in the shade intimacy which i do actually really like it is really lovely so i will be keeping that this one which is called antique pink and it's one of their 20100 crayon lipsticks i just don't really wear so i'm going to pass that on i have the full collection of l'oreal infallible sexy balms there's two Two ranges there's the bolds range and the sheer range so i will go through the bolds range first because there's only three of those so there is adventure which is this one which is just too bright for me and i don't get enough use out of it so that one can be passed off and then there is this one called yala yolo which is a really beautiful red and i think i'm gonna hold on to that one and then there's this one which is called never stop which is also a little bit too bright for me so i'm gonna pass that one on as well moving on to the sheer ones i have such a babe which i really like and yeah it's a really nice color so i'm gonna keep that i have this one which is called go pretty or go home which i just don't really wear unfortunately so i'm gonna pass that one on i have this one which is called gossip which is a bit too pale for me so i'm also gonna pass that one on i have this this one which is my favorite which is called as if which i love which i'm definitely going to keep finally i have this one which is called break the rules which is also really nice so i'm going to keep that one as well then i have some of the soap and glory gloss sticks so these i have in a few different colors as well so i have very gorgeous which i just don't wear so that one can get passed on i have this one which is called techno coral which i also don't really wear so i'm going to pass that one on and i have this one which is called pinkaboo which i again don't really wear so that one can be passed on but finally i have have this one which is called nudist which i am going to keep for now because i do sometimes wear it i have another mini clinique chubby stick this one is called super strawberry and i do kind of like this color in a way so i am going to hold on to this for now these are the revlon color burst lacquer balms i have a few shades of these so i have provocateur which i just don't wear so that could be passed on i have this one which is called coquette which i don't know why i bought this because i'm not going to wear that so that could be passed on. and then i have this one which is called vivacious which i just don't really wear anymore so that one can also be passed on but finally i have this one which is called demure which i actually really like so i'm going to keep that one i have some of the original kind of revlon color burst 
lip button. Now I have Crush, which I don't really wear, so that could be passed on. I have this one, which is called Cherish, which can also be passed on, as well as this one, which is called Romantic. And then I'm gonna keep this one, which is called Honey, because I quite like the color. I have two of the collection Work The Color Lip Butters in the shade Perfect Plum, which is this one. And then I have this one as well, which is called Vintage Rose. I'm gonna bin both of these because these are really old. I have this from Lacquer & Co, which is one of their Cloud Lips lip crayons in the shade Daydream. I really like this. It's a really nice lipstick and the formula is really lovely. The color is really nice and I really like it. So I'm gonna keep that. And I have three of the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. These are in the shade Striking, which is this one, which I'm gonna pass on. And then I have this one, which is called Elusive, which I'm also going to pass on. And then finally, this one, which is called Complex, which I am going to keep, actually. I'm going to keep that one for now and then pass these two. I have three of the Burt's Bees lip crayons. These are in the shades Sedona Sands, which I really like, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have Hawaiian Smolder, which I also really like, so I'm gonna keep that one. Finally, there's this one, which is called Napa Vineyard, which I really, really like, so I'm gonna keep that one as well. I have a number seven high shine lip crayon in the shade Delicate Pink, which I'm gonna bin now, because again, I just don't know how old this is. I have this collection Work The Colour Matte Lip Butter in the shade Marshmallow pink which i'm gonna pass on i have this top shop lip bullet so this is called double rainbow and it's the most amazing like kind of pink color but it's got this like shift in it and i don't wear it but at the same time like i really really like it um and i feel like it'd be good for like a festival or something so i think i might keep this just for now and kind of hold on to it because it is a bit kind of different. So I have one of the Clinique Chubby Sticks in the shade Mega Melon and I quite like this so I'm going to hold on to that. Finally I have one of the Bourjois Colour Boost Lip Crayons. This is called Peach on the Beach and I quite like this one as well so I'm going to keep this. That is it for my lip crayon collection. I am giving away quite a lot this time but I just don't really wear lip crayons that much anymore and a lot of the colours I had were very repetitive as well or just colours that I'm just Final not going section, I have are my lip balms which is quite a small collection i narrowed it down quite a while ago and so yeah this is my current lip balm collection i'm going to go through these quite quickly and just sort them out so first of all i have my eos lip balm summer fruits i'm going to keep i think this is called summer fruits i can't completely remember but it's the red one anyway so i'm going to keep that one this one i'm not going to keep because i think it has gone off this one's called sweet mint i think so this is just going to go straight in the bin then i have this one which is the strawberry one i can't remember the proper name of this but i will be keeping this one as well then i have this one which is the honeydew one which i'm also going to be keeping finally i have the passion fruit one which i'm also going to be keeping so out of them all they're all actually okay just not the mint ones i have the amana refresh lip balm with grapefruit i actually really like this so i'm going to keep this then i have four tins of vaseline i don't use vaseline i don't like how it feels but these are limited edition ones so i have queen bee which i'm going to keep paint the town red which i'm going to keep and pink bubbly which i'm going to keep i will be giving away this one which is the lulu guinness one i have have these two balms from papaya gold and unfortunately these are actually expired in march so i'm gonna have to get rid of these because i have used this once it's expired and it just doesn't work the same i do have this one however which is from dr Paw Paw, and it's a kind of similar product but it is just from a different brand and this one is fine because i haven't had this one that long so i'm going to keep that one i have two carmex lip balms the peach and mango burst is one of my favorite lip balms ever i absolutely love it so i'm definitely going to be keeping that one and then i have this one which is the cherry one which i just don't really use much anymore and i've had this for a little bit too long now so i'm just going to bin that one then i have this teeny tiny lip balm from buzz balm this is their manuka and thyme honey lip balm and this is really nice so i'm going to keep this finally i have the yes to miracle oil primrose lip oil and this isn't really much of a lip oil i would say it's more of like a lip gloss but i do quite like it sometimes if you just don't really need anything too intense so i'm going to keep that finally i just have all of my stick lip balms i'm going to run through these quite quickly because i think i'm going to give away most of them i have lots of the maybelline baby lips lip balms which i used to collect and I don't use them now and they're not that great as lip balms to be honest like I think if you're just starting out with makeup or you're quite young like they're just quite like appealing but for me now 
I prefer um, more effective lip balms. I'm going to bin most of the original collection I have because I've had these for so long. I will keep this one, however, which is called Peach Kiss, just because it's kind of like a nudie colour and it is quite nice. So I'm going to keep that one. These three I'm going to bin, which are Intense Care hydrate and mint fresh just because these are too old now and then i have this one which is called cherry me which i'm gonna pass on because that one is actually all right and so is this one which is called pink punch i also have the baby lips electro all of these can be passed on because i never really use them much so the colors are O Orange, which is an orange, then there's Fierce and Tangy, which is a yellow one, Striker Rose, which is a pink, Pink Shock, which is more of a dark pink, and then Berry Bomb, which is like a purple colour, and all of these can be passed off. And these ones are all part of random collections, so for example, these ones were brought out for winter one year, and again, these can all be passed on. There is Hot Cocoa, Sweet Apple, and Sugar Cookie. I have these two, which were also brought out for some kind of limited edition thing and these are called chai tea latte which looks like that and this one is called vanilla cupcake which i'm also going to pass on and then this one that they brought out for valentine's day which is actually quite cute it's called pomme d'amour and it's got a little heart on it but again i'm going to pass that on i have some of the doctor rescue ones i'm going to pass on pink me up from this range and just peachy which is that one but these two i'm going to get rid of because these are a bit too used and then i have these baby lips and i'm just going to bin all of these because these are way too old i have two kath kidston lip balms which i'm also going to pass on even though the packaging is faded on these they are perfectly fine and yeah they haven't actually been used that much so i'm going to pass these on this one is a bluebell one and this one is a rose one I have a cherry chapstick which I used to love when I was younger so I just bought it more for the kind of sentimental value and I don't use it too much but I just like keeping it for that and I actually used to eat this which is pretty gross but yeah I don't eat it now don't worry. I have two Nivea lip balms I have the essential care one and the pure and natural milk and honey these are both really nice so I'm going to keep both of those. I have some Burt's Bees ones this one is the coconut and pear lip balm which I really like so I'm going to keep that and then I have three of their tinted lip balms so I I have pink blossom which i'm going to pass on because i don't really wear this then i have hibiscus and zinnia which i both really like the colors of those are the colors and i really like those and then finally i have this lip balm which was personalized for me by a brand called shea plus and it's a 100 percent natural lip balm and yeah it's got my name on it so for that reason i'm going to keep it just because it is personalized so that's everything for my lip decluttering video hope you've all enjoyed watching this and these are all of the products that i've decluttered and are okay to give away so i'm really looking forward to finding new homes for all of these products because there's so many thank you for watching and i will see you all soon